Hi everyone, this is Corey from the club. Just wanted to give some more updates and want to start off by pointing out that we do have some content on YouTube that you should check out. And I specifically want to rec recommend everyone watch some of David Ross's Thursday night jazz videos. He's been able to maintain that, that regular Thursday night schedule during the club closure by using his archive of video and producing great um, great versions of, of that that he had filmed over the years and we put those up every Thursday night. So thanks to David Ross for, for keeping the Thursday night jazz alive. The second update is yesterday we had our, our Board of Governors meeting and the LAAC Board of Governors uh, meets once a month on the third Wednesday of each month. We moved it to Thursday this week, but wanted to report that everyone is doing well, everyone is healthy. We're, we're happy to hear that, that everyone is at home. The Board of Governors is working on the LAAC Employee Support Fund, and so I encourage everyone to use April without any dues being charged as a chance to support to that fund. And first part of May, we're, we want to distribute those funds right away to, to employees. So thank you f to all the members who've supported that. And thank you to Robin and the entire 2020 Board of Governors for helping us with that. Third thing to mention is that we have a grab and go uh, menu set up online. So if you go to mylac.com, which is our member only website, or just go to lac.com and click login, you can log into that using your membership number and your last name as your initial password if you haven't logged into that before. And you'll see the icon on the left side that says grab and go. You could place an order through that and, and our front desk will coordinate the pickup for that. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, speaking of front desk, Gretchen, as I mentioned yesterday, is our hotel operations director. And today what I'm gonna do is go down to the first floor lobby where she's set up and just talk to her about what she's working on down there and have her highlight some of the things that, that she's doing. So let's go down to the first floor. Okay, so we're walking down to the first floor, but what I wanted to do on the way down was stop and show you what we're doing. Pedro mentioned yesterday we're doing some work in the stairwells. So what we're doing is removing the carpet and the wallpaper. So the reason we're doing that is the surfaces that we're gonna replace them with are gonna be really easy to clean. So we're doing an epoxy uh, slip resistant coating on the floor and a paint surface on the walls. So I'll show you just a really quick peek at what that looks like. So these are the stairwells with the old carpet, with the wallpaper, and you could see on this side we've stripped down and removed the carpet. And as Pedro mentioned yesterday, it's a massive undertaking because if you look at the stairwell, it's, it goes up 10 stories. So this one we've been working on for a while. All right, so we're in the lobby and Gretchen is, as I mentioned, our hotel operations director. So Gretchen, tell us a little bit about what you're working on during the club's period of being closed. And I am making face masks, uh, as well as keeping up with you know toilet paper orders and things like that. But right now, I'm spending a lot of time cutting out um, face masks and sewing them on. I've got my sewing machine in the back. And um, you know, just keeping my mind going and uh, and sending them out to uh, our staff. 
So they're kind of cool face masks, actually. They've got a little pocket on This is one of them. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah, it's got a pocket on the inside, so you can put you can put um, a coffee filter or a filter of any kind you want in there, and um, and take it out and put new ones in constantly. And it also allows you to well, I didn't do it for this one, but you have like so, so yeah, I just brought stuff from home, setting up stuff and answering the phone because you still have members calling in. Good morning, Los Angeles Athletic Club. This is Gretchen. Okay, we're gonna go take a peek at Gretchen's famous sewing machine. Oh wow, how long have you had that? Um, I've had this for, oh gosh, uh, since high school, I think my mom gave it to me in high school. What, how old were you when you first learned to sew? Oh, um, my grandmother started teaching me to sew when I was like seven, eight. She had an old treadle machine, so that was the, it was really fun. What's the most elaborate thing that you've sewn? Oh goodness, um, well I used to do costumes for the New York Shakespeare Festival, so when I did, uh, I did these costumes, they were kind of like, they looked like red bell peppers for a Hamlet piece that were pretty crazy. I'm, I've never been an incredibly good stitcher, but I did get to do those, those were fun. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll set up a little time lapse and have you, um, make one of the masks. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so today we got a chance to introduce you to Gretchen. She's down at the front desk and we got to talk a little bit about the grab and go, show you a little bit of the uh, process she goes through to make the cloth masks that we're distributing to employees. She also oversees the fire panel, which we didn't talk about, but anytime there's a fire alarm within the building, it actually, uh, lights up and rings at a panel down on the first floor and she goes through a set of procedures to to keep up on that so luckily we haven't had that happen um, on the mask side the masks that the employees who are at the club are wearing are, are these um, three ply um, masks thank you to my brother actually Tyler who was able to get a shipment of these and deliver these to the club, so thank you for that. The third type of mask that we've talked about in these videos is the N95 masks, and if any members have access to those, please reach out to us. Uh, you can email us at laac at laac.net, and what we're able to do is connect those to the medical workers at Good Samaritan Hospital, so we have an employee who has a relative working there and they've expressed a need for that. So please reach out to us if you have access to those. Uh, let's see, Monday will be the next video. So everyone have a good weekend and we look forward to seeing you back at the club and um, yeah, stay healthy.